Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links and commands we used in this video. Today at Solvetic we will see how to fix login loop when logging into Ubuntu. To begin when you get to the login screen you will select the user, enter your password and log in. As a result we will be returned to the login screen. Now it is time to make some adjustments to solve it. For this we will use the control keys plus alt plus F3 to open the terminal. Log into the terminal. In the console that opens you will execute the following command as you see on the screen. This allows us to check if the file called .xauthority exists. In case the owner user is different, you must take control of this user. For this you will execute the command you see on the screen. Now we must validate that the user has been modified correctly. Execute the command on the screen to do so. Next you are going to restart Ubuntu by running the reboot command. Wait for the system to restart. Hey, remember to subscribe Solvetic channel. On the login screen select the user. Now enter the password and check that you can log in. If the error persists you will open the terminal again using the Ctrl plus Alt plus F3 keys. Log in with your details. Now you are going to access the temporary folder. For this enter the command with the syntax that we see of, cd bar. Then enter the command as on screen. In this case we will have access to the permissions of this folder. Let's change the permissions by entering what you see on the screen with the chmod command. Press your enter key to run it. It is time to verify that they have been applied correctly. For this execute the syntax you see of the command alias. Press the enter key to run it. The next step will be to work on the GDM3 screen manager. First you are going to reconfigure its values. For this execute the command you see on the screen and press the enter key on your keyboard. After this we are going to uninstall GDM3, for this use the command you see with a PT. You must confirm this process using the letter that. Now it's time to install GDM3 again. In this case you must use the command that is shown on the screen with a PT. Another cause of this error is having a full hard drive. 
you can see how the hard drive is using the on-screen command. You will then have access to details of your hard drive space. Finally, you are going to restart Ubuntu again by running the reboot command and wait for it to come to an end. Now it only remains to log in to check that everything works in the normal way. We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.